Hello, welcome back. We're solving free fall motion problems in physics with constant acceleration due to gravity. Uh, now, most of the problems up till now have been all about dropping something. You know, you'd start at a height, you drop an object, and it accelerates due to gravity, and we figure out stuff, all right? Now, in this problem, we're actually going to be throwing something upward. So this whole idea of free fall motion, it, it works perfectly fine if you throw something straight up. Uh, as if you just drop something and it falls straight down. So the math and the signs and everything take care of figuring out where the thing is going to be. So your problem says you toss a rock straight up and it reaches a height of 110 centimeters off of the ground. What is the initial velocity uh, or what, what initial velocity did the rock leave your hand, right? So it's an interesting because most of these problems you drop something and you try to figure out where it's going to be later. Here, you know where it's going to be. You throw it off the ground. Uh, it reaches a height uh, in the air, and you're trying to figure out how hard did you initially throw it up out of your hand? What was the initial velocity? See, in all the other problems before, we were dropping stuff, so the initial velocity was zero. Here, we're actually going to throw something, so we have to give it some initial velocity in the up direction. Right? So several things I want to talk about here, but the first thing is you should have uh, a major aversion to seeing things like centimeter in your problem. It's not going to work. So we want to convert centimeters, 110 centimeters, into meters. Right? And so we know that one meter is 100 centimeters. So when you cancel this guy, you take 110, you divide by 100, you're going to get 1.1 meters. So from here on out, we're not going to use 110 centimeters. We're going to say that the rock makes it to a height of 1.1 meters into the air. All right. So then we have to draw a simple little picture here. We have, uh, we have the ground. I'm going to call that the ground. And I could draw a stick figure person or whatever, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to draw... Uh, this rock that basically starts, we're going to say it starts at ground level, even though there's really a person holding it. We're going to say it start, starts at ground level. Now here's the deal. You're throwing the thing straight up, but if I draw it straight up and straight down, you'll never see anything. So the way that I'm going to draw it is it goes up and then it kind of reaches some height and then it kind of turns back around like this. So obviously it's going up like this and then it's going down like this. Now, the way I've drawn it is as a path, as a curved path, like a trajectory through space. But you have to know that right now we're only talking about straight up and straight down motion. It's just that in order for me to draw it, I can't draw the lines on top of each other, otherwise nothing makes sense. I guess I could do it, but I'd rather you see that there's an up and a down part to it. So what have I learned here? It says you toss a rock straight up. It reaches a height of, now we know, 1.1. Uh, meters. So what we know is that the rock starts down here at an initial position of zero meters. Remember the starting place. Wherever you start the motion from is your zero meter point. Right? That's why we're saying this ground level